Welcome to this video tutorial where I will show you how to use AutoClass Composite and Adobe Photoshop to create a school composite. First, at your open document in Photoshop, select the shape layer that will serve as a model. Then, an AutoClass Composite, click at Create Target Layers at top right. This will open a window with a preview of your document in Photoshop and a green rectangle to indicate the place and size of your shape layer. Now input the number of images you need for your composite and AutoClass will automatically create a, a distribution for them. Drag the blue lines in the preview area and AutoClass will modify the distribution for you. This is automatically done. You may also change the shape layer size in a percentage of the original shape layer and each time, remember, each time you move uh, the blue lines, you set a new number of images, you set a new uh, shape layer size, AutoClass will make a new distribution for you. This distribution is uh, defined into rows and columns and it is shown in this list. You may change the number of images per each row, but make sure that the total, the sum of them, should match the number of images for your composite. You may easily add new columns, uh, new rows to the design using the plus and minus buttons in the list, minus for uh, removing um, rows. You only need to input uh, the number of images and the shape layers to get a new calculation, a new distribution. Notice that the green rectangle shows the position and size of your shape layer, but if you're using a custom shape layer with a different form, it will not be shown as it's easier to see how much space you have for the text using this rectangle instead of the original form. Remember that the plus and minus buttons at the bottom of the rows list is for adding new rows and setting the number of images in these rows. But make sure that the total matches the input number of images for your composite. Once you are happy with the design of your composite, click at Generate Shape Layers and the application will create for you these shape layers in Photoshop. AutoClass Composite takes the first shape layer you have selected in uh, Photoshop and will make copy of them, renaming it for each of the images you need and the distribution made in Photoshop will be the same you have already designed into the preview window. This way, way it's very easy to create a composite distribution. Please remember that in case you need to move one of the shape layers later in Photoshop, you can still do it using the Move tool in Photoshop and even the auto alignment features included with the Move tool. Once you have finished uh, the design in Photoshop, AutoClass will select the first uh, shape layer for you, but you may start at any of the shape layers by selecting it. And then at AutoClass you have to select the folder with the images. The number of images in the folder will be shown in the application and you can set the distance between the image and the text and how much width is the text box at the bottom of the image and then click at Fill Composite. AutoClass will start to put each of the images in the document open in Photoshop and set the text beneath it. All the text layers are put together at top of the Photoshop layers palette for easily changing the fonts, the size and the color. This way you don't need to worry about this before filling the composite. It's easier to do it later because in Photoshop you can see already how it looks. It's far easier. As you can see, 
Using Autoclass Composite and Photoshop, it's very easy to create your school and team composites. Just a few steps. First, distribute the shape layers using the integrated tool in Autoclass Composite and later fill the composite with your images. You only have to select the folder and Autoclass will care about sorting them and inputting them into Photoshop. At our website you will uh, find a user's guide for easily understand how to write the names of the files to be used and how to sort them. Autoclass Composite and Photoshop, the easiest way to create class composites.